Hey everyone, Julian here. Welcome back to the Windows Subsystem for Linux series. This is episode four and we're going to be looking at Docker. Um, we're going to be installing Docker on our Windows 10 host machine and on our Ubuntu Subsystem for Linux. So without further ado, let's head over to the desktop so we can see what we're working with. So here we are, I've got a terminal open running bash and you can see we're currently in the root directory of our file system. Let me go ahead and clear that. Now, if I run the docker command, you can see we get a list of commands from docker. And if we run the docker run hello world command, it's pulled the hello world image and it's fired it up and it's working. So how are we doing this? Well, what we're actually doing is just exposing Docker, exposing the Docker daemon on our Windows 10 install and controlling it through our Linux installation. So what you want to do to get this up and running is if you haven't installed Docker on Windows, head over to Google and just search for Docker CE Windows and follow the links to get Docker. So you just want to click this. I've already got it installed in my system. So just go ahead and click on get Docker. You might need to create a uh, Docker Hub account. Well, in fact, you will have to create a Docker Hub account. So go ahead and do that. Download Docker and follow the installation instructions. Um, once you have done that, what you want to do is uh, you'll probably need to either reboot your machine or just sign out. So go ahead and do that. Another thing you want to watch out for, you may have to enable Hyper-V. Um, so just search for Hyper-V and you should get this settings icon saying turn Windows features on or off. So just click into that and head down to Hyper-V and make sure you've got that ticked. Now, I think you can only enable Hyper-V in Windows Pro and Windows Enterprise. I'm not sure about just regular Windows Home. Um, you might have to do a bit of Googling and see if you can do that. But if you've got Windows Pro or Windows Enterprise, you should be able to do that absolutely fine. Install Docker and get it up and running. So what we can do once you've got Docker installed is just open up a um, PowerShell and just put in Docker and you should get your list of Docker commands and Docker run hello world. And that's going to pull the hello world image from Docker and just sort of do a test to make sure everything's running. So as you can see, that might be a bit small, so I do apologize, but that has pulled the hello world image and is working on our Windows machine. So how do we do that? Well, first up, what you need to do is come down and go into the Docker settings. So just right click on the little Docker icon. Uh, you might not be able to see that. I think my face is in the way, so I'm... Ooh. Let me uh, let me get my face out of the way so you can see what's happening. I'll stick that up here. So you just want to come down to this little icon down here, right click and go to settings. Now in the general tab, what you want to do is make sure this is ticked and that's the expose the daemon on TCP localhost 2375 without TLS. So go ahead and tick that. Now effectively all that's going to do is just expose the Docker daemon to listen for any commands which we're going to be running in our bash terminal. So go ahead, make sure you've got that ticked and you can go ahead and close that. So next thing we need to do is install um, Docker on our Linux machine. Now, obviously I've got mine installed, um, but what we could do is go ahead and fire up a virtual machine and I'll just walk you through doing that. So I'm going to um, start this Windows 10 machine and connect to it. And we can go through the steps of installing Docker and Docker Compose on our Linux box. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, one thing I will recommend is um, don't necessarily just follow the commands that I'm telling you here. Um, just in case something's changed, maybe the documentation's been updated, 
So what I would recommend is let's um, fire up Chrome and let's head over to install docker Ubuntu. And you should find your way to this link, get docker CE for Ubuntu. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and just make sure you are in the docker CE. This is the community edition, which is what we want to install. So as you can see, I hope you guys can see that. Let me uh, let me get my big head out of the way. So, okay, right. What you want to do is um, run this first command, which is basically to uninstall any old versions of Docker. So we're going to copy that command, come into our terminal, and right click, and that should just paste in automatically. What's this command not found? Why you do this? Copy. Command not found. What's going on here? App get removed, Docker, Docker engine. Oh, I copied the bloody dollar symbol. Sorry guys, schoolboy error. Go ahead, stick your password in. And that is done. Obviously we haven't got Docker installed on here so it didn't have to uninstall anything. So then head down and uh, head to this section titled installing the repository and copy this sudo app get update. Well, you don't have to copy that. You can just type it in if you want, but we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste that in. Let that do its thing. And once that's done, we are then gonna copy these packages that we want to install. So go ahead and copy the next line, paste that in and hit return, hit Y and hit enter again and let that do its thing. Now we're gonna be installing the latest version of Docker. So um, you do have some options to install different versions if you want, but I would definitely recommend adding the latest version. So once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and copy this line making sure we don't copy that dollar sign again. Copy that. So this will add the official GPG key. Next up, we can just verify, verify, verify this fingerprint and you should get a message here. Okay, that's fine. Although we have got a slightly different message here, unknown Docker release. Okay. CDA8, CDA8, CDA8. Okay, I'm not sure why it says unknown, maybe that's just the thing, but Okay, we're gonna carry on through um, and add the repo. So let's go ahead and copy this line and paste that in. Let that do its thing. And then next up, we need to update our package list. Let that do its thing. Okay, next up, copy and paste, sudo app get update. And then finally, we actually get around to installing the latest version of Docker CE. And then let's go ahead and paste that in. Yes, we want to continue. And this is the point, if you did want to install a certain version of Docker, there's instructions here in the documentation to do so. But I would recommend just going with the latest version. So next, it does tell you to run the sudo docker run hello world command. Um, I'm gonna run it, but it's gonna fail. I just wanna show you what happens. I'm gonna copy that, paste that in. There we go, cannot connect to the docker daemon. Okay, and that's what we expected. 
So next up, um, what I would recommend is installing uh, Docker Compose. So let's go install Docker Compose Ubuntu and just work your way to the documentation. Uh, install Compose, you want to click on this Linux tab and then literally just grab this command. Installing Compose is really fast, so just go ahead and stick that in. And we also need to change some permissions, so go ahead and do so, and that's done. Okay, so we've got Docker Compose, and we've got Docker. So if we run Docker, you can see we get a list of commands here, and if we run Docker Compose, we also get all the Compose commands. So Docker is installed, all the commands are working, and Docker Compose is installed too. So next up, what we're going to want to do is connect our um, Linux Docker to our Windows one. So what we can do is go to our home directory. Let me clear this. So let's go CD home and we're going to open our um, bash RC with nano. So, oh, typo, nano dot bash RC. And then you want to tab down to the bottom. And what we're going to do is um, export the Docker host. So export Docker host, all caps with an underscore in the middle, equals TCP colon double forward slash localhost colon 2375. And let's go ahead and close that, save, yes. Now we need to source dot bash RC to reload the bash RC file. And what another thing you want to do is just so you don't have to uh, run the sudo command every time you want to work with Docker, you can just go sudo user mod dash a uppercase G Docker and then dollar sign user all caps. And I had another typo, Docker, not Docker. So sudo user mod dash a uppercase g docker dollar sign user. So go ahead and do that. So that's done. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to demo this working on this virtual machine. Um, but they're really the steps that you need to take. Just make sure you've, let's close this out, um, minimize that. So guys, just to uh, recap, what you're going to do is go ahead and download and install Docker for Windows 10. Um, actually, one, one point I forgot to mention is in the installer for Docker on Windows, um, you will get a message pop up about running Linux containers. Um, I'm pretty sure you have to leave that unchecked. Obviously, we want to run Linux containers, so just make sure that you've selected that option or not selected it. I can't quite remember what it says in the installer. So um, yeah, that's really the only thing you need to look out for. So again, just to recap, install Docker on Windows 10, head to settings, expose the daemon, install Docker and optionally Docker Compose on your Linux box. Um, add that little line of code to the bash RC file, add the user to the group, uh, make sure your shell's rebooted, so, you know, source bash RC or just close the shell and open a new one and you should be good to go. So, let's uh, let's just run a Docker Compose on our Linux box here. So, let's head over to our home directory. I think I've got one here, DC, and let's have a quick look. So, we've got a Docker Compose file here and let's just have a quick look at that. Um, in nano. So this is a MongoDB container. And we're going to use this. I've, I've not seen this before, but on the Docker Hub, um, they show an example file using this Mongo Express, which is quite a cool little tool for sort of managing and checking out your database through localhost. So I'm going to close that. Um, I'm going to do another video on Docker and Docker Compose. So 
you can expect to learn more about that in the future. So what we're going to do is run the following docker compose up dash build. And that's going to pull the Mongo image and the Mongo Express image and expose it on localhost. What have I lost my mouse? I think my mouse has died. Bear with me. Back up. Is it the mouse? Yes, the mouse has died. Wow, great timing. So now if we go ahead and open a web browser and just head to localhost, I think it's 8081. Yeah, 8081. So there we go. We have a container running on our Windows 10 machine controlled through the Windows subsystem for Linux and now we are up and running with a Mongo container. Well, two containers. So there we go, guys. That's pretty much it for this one. And um, let me know, hit your comments in below. I'm gonna put a few links in the description where I got some inspiration for this from. So uh, be sure to check them out as well. So yeah, that's it for this one, guys. And I will see you very soon.